Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today's video. I'm Leticia Fiora. On this channel, I make video content related to books, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If you're interested in this type of content, then please subscribe so that you're notified whenever I upload a video. In today's video, I will be sharing and demonstrating how I repot and care for my white bird of paradise. If you're interested, then please stay tuned. And thank you for watching. So today I will be repotting um, this beautiful plant, which is called a Sterlitzia nicolae, um, better known as the white bird of paradise. Um, named for her beautiful flower blooms, she originates from South Africa and is cousin to the banana plant. And if you're familiar with banana plants, then you know that they can get, uh, grow into giants. Well, so can white bird of paradise when they're well taken care of. Um, and her name is Lola. So say hello to Lola. <laughs> All right, so I purchased I purchased Lola, my white bird of paradise, um, a little over a year ago, um, July 23rd, 2022. So it has been a while and she has certainly grown a lot since then and she is outgrowing her original pot. So today I will be repotting my white bird of paradise uh, into this uh, beautiful planter that I purchased from Lowe's um, and this will be her new home vessel so I'm gonna go ahead and get started you sit back and watch and I'm gonna go ahead and get to work So here I'm poking the drainage holes into my new planter uh, so that the water has somewhere to go. Um, I don't want the roots to be oversaturated. Look at those roots. Next, I'm um, filling my planter with miracle Bro cactus palm and citrus potting mix, the fast draining formula uh, for exotic plants.
and there it is. I have successfully repotted my white bird of paradise. <sighs> As you can see here, um, some of the leaves look a little dry. Um, in certain certain spots and areas and you know, around the edges and I'm just gonna trim those up some of the leaves have grown so huge they've become top heavy and so I'm gonna prop them up with a few bam bamboo sticks that I purchased from those just to help them stand up, help the limbs stand up a little better. together with some twine. This is just going to give it a little more height and take some of that tension off of the stem. Already looking better. Stand a little taller. Being the big bird that she is. Oh, 
I'm not professional. Uh, I'm just doing what I love. Oh yes, standing up so much taller. Yes, look at that. It's going to be taller than me soon enough. And I have a few new ones coming in. So this is short. Okay, should I go ahead and put this one too? That one will be okay for now. This one. I think she's all right now. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can get a better view of her. This one could stand to stand straighter. Stand tall. We knit. There, I got them all standing up just a little taller and prouder. Relieve some of that weight. Oh, this would be so much better. Stand a little taller. I've already trimmed the edges. So now, Spray her, spray the leaves. Spray her leaves. It is good to occasionally 
you know, spray the leaves and, and wipe them down. Wipe the dust off them. Now I'm just going to spray it back again, just so it can have a little humidity. It's also it's helpful to spray, spray the leaves like daily. Water. It's an exotic plant, so try to provide a tropical, a somewhat tropical environment. And also keep it in a nice warm room in front of a window so that it can receive um, plenty of indirect sunlight. And of course, water it as often as needed. Well, this concludes my video. I hope that I was helpful. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.